Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Simon the Sorcerer 3D. And we're on to chapter 2 now, which means we're heading to Polyganis, and, well, we were on our way to Polyganis, but I've actually been distracted by what appears to be a cow and a guy sitting on a rock. So, I'm gonna have a look at these things first. It's a weird looking cow. It's a very weird looking cow. Does the weird looking cow talk? I don't think so. Okay, and this guy? Who, who is this guy? He looks a little vacant. Okay, can we... Hello, what you doing? Waiting for a witch to come along. Witch? A uh, witch? Yep. I want me some magic bones. Ah. Jack, I'm perceiving. <laughs> the blinking. You're waiting for a witch to give you some magic beans? Yep. Like my friend Jack. Cause ah. he be mighty rich nowadays. Since he got himself some beans. So it's Jack's friend. And I suppose you'd be prepared to trade these, uh... Beans for your cow. Yep. Old Daisy here's a fine milking cow. Right. Right. So if we get some magic beans, we can trade it for this cow. Why we want a cow, I don't know. So I'm assuming it will be useful for a puzzle at some point. Uh, assuming, of course, that we can even get the cow, and that's just not some weird conversation thing. But we should probably not get too distracted and actually try and head to Polyganis because that's where that priest kind of guy told us where to go so let's just do that maybe the game will sort of give us some more things to do once we get there also apparently um the fast travel thing is exactly that we can just fast travel anywhere i believe according to what some of you guys were saying which is, is odd in my opinion like why can we fast travel to places we've not been to before that just kind of breaks all video game rules but if that's the case then so be it we'll go with it just not what usually happens in games, is it? Normally you have to go to a place before you can fast travel there. What on earth is this? It's just a big sheer drop. Okay. Uh, where the hell is Polyganis? I, I thought it was going to be this way, but it appears that, I don't know, there's other things going on. It definitely feels more open world than the other games. Like there's things to interact with in, in the world. What is this? Why have they got creepy faces on? Is it just me who thinks they look like creepy faces? I know, they're definitely creepy faces, right? I mean, this looks like something would happen there. It's a shame we can't, as far as I know, bring up the map just anywhere. What's this way? God, the world is actually quite big. I wasn't expecting it to be. What's down there? I can see something. I, I, I don't know where Polyganis is. Am I is. talking to myself? Who the hell is that? Huh? Who said that? It's weird. What's down here? Ah, look, is that... Is that like a signpost? Hello? Hello? Who, who's saying that? Uh, is it that? Is it that thing? Might be. Is this a signpost? Yeah, it actually doesn't look like it. So we can go that way, or we can go... Oh, it's another fast travel thing. Good morning, sir. Where can I direct you to today? Oh, it's a signpost. Uh, home? Hmm. Any chance you can be a teensy bit more specific? Maybe. My home? Very good, sir. <laughs> but perhaps an address or nearest town? Are you a talking sign? You don't say no, sign. No, sir. I am sign. Signal, integrated, golem, narrative, sir. I can direct you to any known place in the land, sir. Oh. Where would you like to be directed to today? Um, one of those rainforests where they have a tribe of all female Amazons. I mean, no, Simon. <laughs> Are you alive? I can find my own way around, thank you. So this is not the voice that we heard, is it? Because the subtitles are blue and on the other one they were brown. So I'm guessing this is a completely different thing. Are you alive? Thing. I am a golem, sir. I have been specially designed to direct people wherever they need to go. I draw water and minerals through my roots, which extend several feet below the ground. Oh. Don't you get a little bored? Of course not, sir. It's not in my programming to be bored. Fine. Although if a traveller sprinkles a few drops of whiskey on my roots every now and then... I'm usually very grateful. Ah. How did that get into your programming? 
My creator, sir, was a bit of a joke, you see. He thought it would be funny to imbue me with an endless thirst for sweet, sweet liquor. It's a bit mean. Please, get me a drink. Oh. I've got better things to do. You'll just have to get over it. No, we haven't, Simon. Ah, sodja, then. We haven't got better things to do. Could we use the, um, the, the Coke? Hi, how's it going? I've got a terrible headache. Please get me a drink. Uh, just a little one. One last one for the road. <laughs> so, Forget it. So maybe we're oh, going to... go on. I'll be your friend. <laughs> Simon's just like, what? Why would I need a friend that's a talking sign? Well, we could play poker or something. I promise I'll let you win. <laughs> that face. How about a game of Magic the Gathering? Oh! Hasbro just acquired the company that makes it. Oh my god. It's a great way to meet chicks. So they Product say. placement, everybody. Product placement. I'll drink wow. to that. No, you won't. Get stuffed. <laughs> Alright, can we just use the... I'm not drinking anything that comes with a government health warning printed on the can. Alright, fine. Well, I mean, I was suggesting you could maybe give it to him, but... I'm not drinking anything that comes with a government health warning printed on the can. Fine. So this is another fast travel thing, isn't it? Uh, can we can we get into this one? Yeah. So let's see where we are on the map now. Maybe we could fast travel to Polyganis, I don't know. I kind of wish they'd made this blue, like as a TARDIS reference. I think that would have been really cool. Maybe they weren't allowed to do that, who knows. Right, so we're over at Sign now. Completely safe rope bridge over a deadly gorge oh yeah that 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 fills me with confidence that that sounds fantastic um to polyganis is over the completely safe rope bridge uh, we've got the temple of life which we started off at a random rock pile volcano photo point imbra joko and cow okay so we went there oh so these places we can't go to by the looks of things i'm guessing because they're black instead of green lonely hut fat bloke sleeping foliage Dung Nomen tree, strangely pink, hint rock. I don't want a hint. Um, acre gap. Mysterious Isle is red. I don't know if that means we can't go there, and there's a pointless bridge this way. So the map isn't actually that big, by the looks of things. It's a beach, lovely. All right, well, let's um, let's just stay here, I think, if we, if we can. And then we'll go over the completely safe rope bridge. We'll head past sign, so I'm guessing it's up this way to the completely safe rope bridge then. Uh, should we sprint? Let's sprint. Yeah, apologies about those A things. I, I can't do anything about that, unfortunately. It's just going to have to display. Alright. Oh, I, I, do, do we need another fast travel point right here? That, that seems like it's a, a little bit unnecessary. What's over here? Why is it just a random... What's this? got a, a rainbow okay and then there's just this big open area here that doesn't seem to do anything okay fine is this one of those like fake bridges like we had what's that in, like in the in the cave or whatever it was the, the tomb hey you hello oh, there me? no the other idiot in the stupid hat hey of course it's you. What? I need to get across this river. So do we. Join the club. And I demand that you help me do it. There's a very important competition going on in that forest, and I have to get to it today. Fine. Uh, what competition is that? What competition's that? Listen, I'm not interested in a conversation. I want the gnome firing trophy. I've won it three years running, and I'm not going to be denied because of some stupid bridge being cut down. Fair enough. Uh, well... Get me that trophy, and I'll help you get across this gorge. How does that sound? Uh, fine. Well, it sounds, uh, good. So we need... Capital. It's settled then. Hurry along. 
The tournament's only open until sunset, and if the Lord for now wins it, you'll never prize his podgy little fingers away from it. All right. Uh, who's Lord Fnar? It... The contemptible <laughs> cat would cut this bridge down because he knew I'd beat him like I do every year. You can't miss him. Talks and looks rather like a horse. Now run along, my lad. Run along. What is he holding? Anyway, so we've got to, so we've got to win this gnome flinging trophy or whatever it is. Um, so I guess we can't go to Polyganis until we figure out whatever this is all about. Why is this thing facing this way? Who designed that? Why is it not facing to the side that you're obviously going to approach from? This side or this side? <laughs> Why? Why is it over here? The most awkward, like... Oh, I don't know. See, it's, it's little things like that. Why is it like that? I, I don't understand. Just, like, plopped it down without any consideration of where the player is going to approach from. That sort of thing is the difference between good game design and very frustrating game design. So, sign... Uh, reservoir Control Hut Pointless Bridge, it's a beach, Temple of Life, Fat Bloke, Volcano, so where is this competition going to be? I, d I don't know. Pointless Bridge, have we been to Pointless Bridge? Let's go to Pointless Bridge. I want to see if we can actually fast travel to places we haven't been to. We can. Hey look, he moves on the map, that's quite cool. It's a bit of a basic animation, but I like it. It's better than just sort of teleporting without doing anything. See, there are good things about this game. It's, it's just, there's it's also a lot of frustrating things so far. <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to complain about the fact we can fast travel to places we haven't been to because the, the world, despite having things in it and being quite big, does feel quite empty. So if we can just fast travel to places to do it quicker then and then I'm, I'm all for that in honesty in all honesty uh, oh god okay Simon could you not why is it a pointless bridge what makes it pointless god we can't fall in can we is it pointless because it just goes to nowhere or okay Oh, oh, okay, okay. Can, can, we, can we get through here? I guess we have to crouch, maybe? Okay. Uh, why, why does it just... Is, is that the pointless bit of the bridge? <laughs> why do we have to go that way? <laughs> Alright, well, well, we'll take it. <laughs> Let's go this way, then. Okay, we're stuck again. I, I will say though, despite my my quite obvious gripes with this game so far, I'm I'm kind of enjoying it from the point of view of like it, nothing has been like game breaking, and the issues that I'm running into are, are, are kind of funny and entertaining to me. So I, I, I'm having an all right time playing this. It's it's not like a horrible experience so far. So that that's always nice. I was I was worried that I would I would play this and I would absolutely hate every second of it, but that hasn't proven to be the case so far. So I'm, I'm happy about that. The the lagging thing is a bit annoying. The frame rate thing. Apparently, some of you guys playing this yourself don't get that. Some people get it literally constantly. I seem to get it on certain camera angles and then not on others. And some people just can't even launch the game, apparently. Like, it just will not um, even come up. So, those are the joys of playing games of this era on modern PCs. They weren't built for modern PCs, and, you know, modern PCs don't always know how to run them. So, it's just one of those things, I suppose. Apparently, it's a thing with Simon 4 as well. I was doing a little bit of research on Simon 4. Um, nothing spoilery. Uh, but it's not actually available on Steam or GOG or anything, so I'm going to have to try and track down a hard copy of it to be able to play it on the channel. And a lot of people are saying that 
they've basically got hard copies and their PCs won't even launch the game. So hopefully we don't run into that. But for now, let's just um, stop talking about Simon 4 and talk about Simon 3, shall we? Because that is what we are on. Where, where are we going here? Is this back to our friend with the cow? I feel like it might be. I mean, we could probably do with a fast travel point around here, to be quite honest. We had two really close together. Are we back to where we were? What does this say? Acre Gap, Polyganis, Temple of Fire, Lake something. What's that other one? Uh, I can't even read that. Alright, let's head this way. I want to go to the Acre Gap or whatever it's called. I don't know if we've been there before. I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if green means that you've been there, or whether it just means you can go there. I'm, I'm, I'm not really sure how this all works, <laughs> but we'll get there. Oh, what's this? Is this Acre Gap? This is Acre Gap, okay. Oh, hang on. We might have lucked out again. Gnome firing contest. <laughs> oh my god, it is. I, I will say, I am incredibly lucky sometimes when I play these games, like, Especially with some of the trickier puzzles like that gem thing we had earlier in the game where I will just completely fluke what to do um, But it always evens itself out because I always end up managing to get getting stuck on a really simple puzzle that has you guys tearing your hair out watching um, But yeah, see look we just came to one place It's where we needed to go to be able to get this trophy thing. So uh, We don't even seem to be able to to read this, but it looks like it's where we've got to go. So um, Let's head in and do we enter the competition? I'm guessing we do. Acre Gap is over here. Ooh, I like the music change. Looks like we've got some sort of tents going on here. And also a lot of uh, frame rate issues, of course, why not? Ah, there's the trophy. Now the question is, do we have to win the trophy, or do we have to steal the trophy? We will figure that out in the next one. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne Nate, Tell Me Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Hobo, Numinous, Kumadim, Paul Leone, Flossy the Sheep, Johncom555, Chrissy, Paul James, and Zoltese. And I'll see you next time.